Hi everyone, this is Mr. West, and today you are watching a MathDrills.com tutorial for subtracting two-digit numbers. Pretty simple here. Now, uh, if you've gone through the elementary years, then you're familiar with this. If not, I'm about to introduce maybe two different ways to do this and kind of give you some background on it. But we're going to go ahead and start with number two. Number two is a fairly simple problem. We have two-digit subtraction, and what we're going to do is we need to subtract two different places. We have the tens place, okay, and I'm actually going to change that color to blue. And then we have the ones place. Now, the ones place is the first one that you see here. So if we have the number just three minus one, that's very simple. We're going to put two beneath the ones place. So we have two columns here, the ones place, and then we have the tens place. So the tens place is the second one, and it's these two numbers right here. So essentially, there's two different ways we can think about uh, these numbers. And I just want to give this background, even though it's pretty obvious. Okay, let me put eight. So nine minus one is eight. So our answer is 82, but why is it 82? So this number is 93, is the same thing as 90 plus three. Okay, obviously that's a ones, okay? It's a, it's a ones place. And then tens place, that nine isn't just the number nine, it represents 90, okay? So that's the tens place. 11 is essentially the sum, which means adding, of the number 10 plus one. So when you see this number one in this column, it doesn't mean just the number one, it means the number 10, okay? And nine means 90. These ones place, they just mean the number, so three and one, but this is really what we're talking about. So if we do this subtraction here, I'm gonna change to green real fast, not gonna do it again. If we subtract three from one, three take away one, as a lot of people say, we get two, and 90 subtract 10, uh, 90 take away 10, we're going to get 80. What's 80 plus 2 is 82. So that's why it works that way, okay? And now this one's an easy example because there's no borrowing, okay? Standard algorithm requires borrowing. So we'll go ahead and show an example, number 3, of what it looks like when we borrow. So here's the breakdown again. So in this case, we have the number 80 plus 0. Oh, purple for my ones place, sorry. So here's my zero, 80 plus zero, and then this number is 20 plus five. Okay, and we're gonna subtract these two numbers. Here's the thing, the subtraction for, here's green, I, I said I wasn't, and here I am. So as subtraction, if we do 80 minus 20, that's easy, we get 60, but we can't do zero minus five. So what happens, okay? We need to borrow. If we can't do the subtraction, zero minus five, which we can't in this case, okay, because zero is smaller than five, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna borrow some from the previous number. And what you do is you borrow 10 from that number. So if you're going up to this place, you're gonna borrow 10 from that number. So we're gonna change uh, this 80, and we're gonna change it to a 70 instead. I should keep that, let's change that to you know what, we'll just keep it purple. So we're gonna change that number to 70. And the reason we can do that is we can still do 70 minus 20, that still works, but now we can change this. Instead of zero, we're gonna do zero plus 10. Okay, so we're gonna add these two together. And the easiest way to think of it is you just add that one in front of that number. So if you're adding 10 to this uh, number, the ones place, you just need to add that one in front and it becomes uh, adding 10. Okay, it becomes a tens place number. The reason why we can do this is now, or the reason why we do this is because now we can do 10 minus five. So 10 minus five we know is five, and now we have 70 minus 20, and that is 50. What's 50 plus five is 55. Okay, what does it look like in the standard algorithm? You're probably like, that's a really complicated way to do it. I just wanna give you background of why we borrow. Okay, again, zero minus five can't do it, so we are gonna borrow from this eight, and we're gonna turn it into a 70. Now, the reason why I'm just putting the seven there is because keep in mind, this number represents 80, and that seven is still in the tens place, so it still represents 70, not just seven, okay? And I'm gonna add this one here in front of that zero, okay? It's kind of in between, but this number represents 10, but it's in the ones place, so it represents 10 because I have that one in front of the zero, and it's kind of sloppy. Let me change it to purple, okay? So if I would just kind of just put it in like that, there's a one, looks like that. So now I have 10 minus five, I get five, and then seven minus two, I just go straight down here, okay? Straight down this way, 
7 minus 2 is 5. 55. I get the same thing, and I just borrowed from the, the next number over from the tens place and add to the 1. With this information, you guys can do all of these problems. Okay, So we're going to go back to number 1. I'm going to change it just to green. We're only going to use one color. And this is how it works. So now we have 50 plus 4, 54. 30 plus 6, 36. I'm going to borrow, well, 4 minus 6, I start always from the 1's place, and immediately I see I can't do 4 minus 6. That's a problem. So I'm going to borrow from the 10's place. I'm going to make that a 4. Essentially, I'm making it 40 instead of 50. And I'm going to make this 14 instead of 4. I did 4 plus 10 equals 14. I borrow 10 from the 10's place. Now I can do 14 minus 6, which is 8. And then I can do 4 minus 3, and that is 1. So I get 18 instead of you know, some other complicated process, okay? But it's 54 minus 36, I get 18 for my answer, okay? I'll do one more with uh, the different colors, and then maybe I'll jump around, maybe do two more, and then you guys can leave a comment if you need any more help. So, ones place, guess what? Can't, borrow, can't do three minus six, okay? When I start off in my ones place, three is smaller than six, so I need to borrow. I'm gonna change this to two, and I'm gonna change this number to 13 instead of 3. So I have that 13 there. 13 minus 6, well, that gives me 7. And now I do 2 minus 2, well, that gives me 0. Okay, so if I did 26 plus 7, I would get 33. 33 minus 26, I get 7. You don't need that 0 there, obviously. And 7 is going to be your answer. Okay, let's do jump around. Let's do a couple more. These ones, of course, when I have just the number on top, always bigger than the number on the bottom. Super easy, 8 minus 6, 8 minus 6, 22 is my answer there. Here's another one that we have borrowing, 3 minus 7, can't do it. I'm going to borrow, put 6, add the 1 to make, you know, borrow from the tens place. 13 minus 7, we just did that, that's 6. And then we have 6 minus 3, 36. Uh, let's see, da, 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 da. let's do another one where you have to borrow. Can't do that, we're going to borrow, we're going to add the 1. 13 minus 9 is 4, and we have 44 as our answer there. Let's do maybe one more. Borrow, add the one. That's nine. And then that's it. Two minus two is zero. I don't need to put the zero down. And that's how I do this. So that's really all there is to this, um, this type of subtraction. Leave a comment if you need more examples done. But that's pretty much the basis of it. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to check out more Math Drills video right here on this channel. I have tons of other math-related content. So be sure to join us next time right here on West Explains Best.